This tutorial will teach you how to use the MO2 logo pack from Motion VFX. After purchase and installation of MO2 and the MO2 logo pack, you'll find them in Final Cut Pro's Title Template tab, inside the MO2 Expansion section. There's 30 fully customizable 3D logo animations to choose from in a variety of palettes and styles. To use one of the included logo templates, click and drag it onto your timeline. To change the default logo, and to further customize this template, let's navigate to the inspector. Double click the inspector header to maximize our space. This will make working with MO2 easier. Inside the inspector controls, you may find it divided into two main sections. The controls for MO2 are on top, and secondary color or style controls are on bottom. These secondary controls will vary from title to title, so be sure to explore them all. To change the logo and replace it with our own SVG graphic, navigate to the Custom Logo group. Inside, you will find a Replace this logo SVG item. Select the SVG item and click the Reload SVG button in the Extrusion Settings panel. Import your SVG graphic into your scene. Review your paths in the Load SVG Preview panel. Sections in white will be extruded. Select Reload to confirm. Use the Scale and Position rotation controls to adjust your logo. For logos with multiple parts, let's duplicate the SVG item and load another section of the logo. Right click your SVG item and choose Duplicate. To avoid confusion, I'll rename this one by double clicking the title and changing the name. I'll reload the same SVG file as before. Using the Load SVG panel, I'll choose other sections of my logo and click Reload. To adjust the size of the extrusion, use the Extrusion Depth slider. A professionally designed style has been already applied to all logo templates, but can be changed or customized. To apply a different style to your logo, open the Style Library and choose a preset. Let's choose Plastic. Clicking will apply it, and I'll close the library. To change the material of an SVG item, select it and open the SVG dropdown. I'll select the material and click the Material button to open the material library. Select Aluminum to apply it, and I'll close the library. To quickly change the albedo color property, Click and adjust the color in the well. All changes are made in real time. MO2 makes it easy to reuse materials in your scene. To use this aluminum I've customized on another object, select the object to access its materials. I'll navigate to the aluminum and I'll drag and drop it. To use it as a reference will allow you to change all attached references at the same time. To make a unique copy, apply a copy. To save your style combination, create a Styles Library preset. Navigate to the bottom of your Extrusion Settings panel and click Save Style. Name your preset and click OK to add it to your style library. Now you'll be able to apply it on future projects. In situations where you'd like to replace the logo with text, let's look at another example. I have a logo title in my timeline, and I've already opened the inspector. Create a new text item by clicking the Add Item button and choosing 3D Text. To put this text item in the same position as my logo, I'll grab the text item in my scene setup and place it in the custom logo group. I'll reset the transformation so the text aligns with the logo. You can either disable the logo by clicking this checkbox, or you can right-click the item 
and delete it from your scene. I'll leave this unchecked. Selecting our new text item, I'll name this Drag Strip Diaries. To apply our previous style preset we created earlier on this new text item, let's open the style library again. I'll choose my previous preset and click to apply. While the style does work correctly, I think I have a better choice for this particular design. Instead, let's apply the sport style from the style library. To change the font, I'll click font and choose a font loaded on my system. I'll change the rotation of the x axis to negative 5 and the scale to 0.58. To save this style combination as a style preset, Select the text item in your scene content and scroll down to save style. Name and save your custom style for future use. Once ready for export or render, review your title. I think I'll turn off these extra spheres by unchecking this box. To use a logo template on top of footage in your project, let's look at another example. Let's select Logo 08 and place it as a connected clip into our timeline. In the Inspector and the Scene Settings panel, select Background. Change the background type to Drop Zone. This will show the clip underneath and animate your logo on top. Below the controls for MO2 are the colorization controls for the title template. Some titles may have additional effects, such as flare, hue, saturation, or others. Be sure to explore them all. In the secondary controls, you may find a mask option. This will toggle the in-out animations for the titles. While all of these templates can be used as is, the design of them allows for limitless customizations. Replace any item in your scene, make different versions, change color and animations, all with just a few clicks. MO2 Logo Pack, only from Motion VFX.